We're back with the author of Heart of Fire, Senator Maisie Hirono. Lately, uh, you and Senator Duckworth, who was recently my guest, ha have made some headlines <laughs> for advocating for the Asian American Pacific Islander community in the United mm -hmm. States. And last week, you introduced a bill that would protect Asian Americans against COVID hate crimes. Um, how will the bill do that? I, it is not to protect them so much as we need a lot more data. We need these kinds of crimes and incidents to be reported because they're very underreported. So what this bill does is, one, two things. First of all, I think it is really important for the Senate and the House to take a stand, you know, to say that we totally condemn this kind of discriminatory action against a minority group. That's important. The second thing is that it's to collect data to get the Department of Justice to appoint a person to expeditiously review these kinds of crimes, to work with the state and local law enforcement and advocacy agents to get the word out that these crimes and incidents ought to be reported so we have a data base in which to make decisions as to what else we should be doing. Um, you serve on a number of committees, including judiciary. Um, the president's forming a commission right now to uh, study court reform. What would you think about adding a few more seats to the Supreme Court. I mean, we've all packed on a little bit during COVID. Why should the Supreme Court be any different? I know for a fact that, that uh, the right-wing groups like the Federal Society have spent millions and millions of dollars in decades placing all of their very conservative, ideologically driven people onto the courts for life. And so that's happened to the Supreme Court. I have been advocating for court reform for quite a while now. And uh, some of that could be increasing the number of justices on the court. That's not written in concrete. It's not in the Constitution. And remember, McConnell made the, the Supreme Court an eight-person court single-handedly when he chose not to do anything regarding Merrick Garland. So you can increase the numbers on the court. You can cycle circuit court judges through the court. But what we're going to, uh, what we should avoid is probably all these six to three decisions coming out of the Supreme Court. Uh, and that that's not good for our country. And it's also one of the reasons that all these very conservative forces are trying to fast track their their cases to the Supreme Court because they think they have a con conservative majority on everything from LGBTQ rights to union rights to a woman's right to choose, voting rights, you name it. They're trying to fast track all of this to the Supreme Court, which is why we should be uh, uh, talking about court reform so that we have a court that is going to make decisions based on objective facts as opposed to some kind of ideological agenda. Well, the book is called Heart of Fire. It's available tomorrow. Senator Maisie Hirono, everybody. Thank you, Senator. We'll be right back. Mahalo. Aloha. Aloha.